help me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, I won't show you today. A kitchen scale. I'm being very happy with my old one. This is six years old, the same brand I noticed. And I definitely didn't make videos when I bought it, so now I'm making videos. Let's make a video about this one. The price of this one was 5 euros discounted from 7 euros 50, which is like 6 dollars, I think. Let's have a look if, uh, if it's good. I'll tell you what I'm making the video. I bought the same one, different one, and was not any good. So they have different models. Unfortunately, I looked for the model on this one and I couldn't find it. The only thing I found was this number here, which was looking like a model. Oh, this one is smaller. Plastic bags are dangerous for children. Oh look, this is a baby! <laughs> Very interesting. I bought this one six years ago for five euros. And this one is now for five euros discounted from seven euros fifty. So keep that in mind. That's inflation for you. Now, I'll show you the old one. That's how it turns up. Yeah, it's like the screen. Maybe if I put, if I put them here. So it made, measures it in fluid ounces, in milliliters, the water, fluid ounces for water, and you got grams for weight, kilograms for weight, pounds, what, what, sorry, I don't know. And milliliters again. So let's go to weight. I never use anything different from weight. Yeah. Let's see this one. Does it start up the first time? No. So we got a battery compartment, 2032 battery. You can see the bottom. And this one is a bit different. Here I hide my batteries. Just put a spare in there. And this one is very accurate. And I say very, it's like very accurate. There button is, uh, you press here once and it, it tears the scale. So let's see. What we got here is ounces, milliliters. Fluid ounces, grams. Okay, so what we're we gonna do? We will check how quick it is with a spoon, maybe. Let's check if they're both the same. Forty grams, thirty-nine. Well, yeah, okay. So put on the scale, and we'll see. Yeah, okay. I think uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty quick as well. And let's see how quick it toggles in between in between the modes. grams here okay what else we can do we can put a cup on it to fill the grams and then do a head of sale there we go 195 196 grams let's pour some water and see we get some. Yeah, that's all right. Now let's stir them. 
in that was all, almost the same time. Now I can say that the numbers on this is bigger. This got smaller numbers, but you know it's a smaller scale. So if the size matters, I actually prefer this one because I have a smaller kitchen. Let's see if we can hold five kilograms of load. I got some flour here. Let's tear it. I got five kilograms. Oh, it's overweight. Let's try with four. Four. Four kilograms, 180, 128 grams. And let's this one. Yeah. Hundred and thirty-one, hundred and twenty-six, hundred and twenty-eight, hundred and twenty-seven. So yeah, we got we got the same result when we were doing the test. Let's see how much how heavy is one of them and how heavy is the other. This one is five hundred and twelve grams. And this one is four hundred and ten grams. So we got um 100 grams difference, so this one is 100 grams lighter. Red color, I prefer the color. I like the color of it. So that's the scale. I think it's really worth the 5 euros. I think it's brilliant. That's it for that video. I hope it's been helpful to you. I think I'll have a glass of soda now. And uh, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.